What's going on, everybody? We just got top 64, 43rd place with Ace at the online Treasure Cup. We went 7-2. Uh, my first round was a loss to Big Mom. I should have trashed the life uh, and gone to zero. Um, I did see you two Flame Emperor, but at one point I wanted Ace and Seaquake. Um, the second round, I won versus Whitebeard. Um, they didn't play a Fosa in Fear of the Seaquake, and so I won that one. Round three, I won to Dofi. Uh, I mulliganed to a lot of no counter and whiffed a Whitebeard Pirates early, but he whiffed on all his Dofis. Um, round four, I won to Katakuri. They didn't see the 10 drop. Uh, round five, I lost to Dofi. I was actually someone I know from the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. I, I actually didn't see any 2Ks, and the 7K swings were a lot. Um, round six, I won to Whitebeard. Round seven, I won to Magellan. Round eight, I won to Whitebeard. And round nine, I won to Zoro. Uh, if you guys found this content of value and if you enjoy Ace and look forward to playing him into this OP 3.5 slash possibly into OP 04, please do consider subscribing to my channel. Over 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. It would mean the world to me. And I will be uploading all of my matches from the event to my channel. So do subscribe for that. So we, we bubbled out. We bubbled in. We, uh, we were a bubble warrior um, to secure the Marco. Super excited because I play Ace. Marco fits right in. Very excited. Um, shout out Play TCG as well. Uh, shout out my friend Keck uh, and also Will to Win Gaming. Uh, we've got four Otama. So we'll start with the 2Ks. We played four Otama. We played four Machino. These were the only 2Ks I played. Um, I did cut Jozu. I was originally playing two Machino at some point pre the list. Uh, this list is post the limit list or the restrict list. Um, Machino was an MVP uh, in round six versus Whitebeard. I used this to swing seven with a Izo, and uh, he had one card in hand. I just had the gamble that he didn't have a 2K. And then he goes for life, and then I go eight with lead, uh, ensuring that it would connect if the Izo did. So Makino, big MVP, uh, helped me get my round six. For Searchers, I only played three buggy. This was an interesting choice. I just didn't, am not playing as many events as I would have previously, just because having bodies is very important. Um, and I was looking for room, and so I just cut buggy down to three, just because I'm not playing as many events. It's like 17 or 18. Uh, when I would be playing like 24. I did, of course, for Ezo. Uh, that's a must. Um, yeah, I mean, it gets you any of your white beard cards, gets you your bodies, gets you going. So I played, uh, we're still in the white beard engine. I played one Nemule. I played two Atmos. These were for bodies. This could also be Marco. I just couldn't find mine, so I just went ahead and played Namule. But I played two Atmos. Atmos put in a lot of work, actually. So did Namule. Um, just having these bodies and being able to play something on the three curve was very important. I also, so I, um, I played one of these, but I played uh, two other three drops. Um, for blockers, I went Fosa, two of them, and one Marco. Uh, Fosa comes up, not great in the red matchup, but pretty solid for anything else that can't easily remove him. Uh, continuing on, uh, we played four Marco, um, and then we played some other cards. I played two Zoro, so the Nemule was so that way we can... Um, I was like, I saw the guy who did top 16, and I was like, okay, like, Zoro or... Zoro's really good for aggro, and Ace just needs a little bit more aggro. This came up in my round seven versus Magellan. He had the Hell's Judgment, but he opted not to use it. And then so I slapped down a Zoro and swung an additional five to eat a card, all while he could have just judgmented and got value, and he was behind a little bit. So that was great. I also played two Rush Luffy, unblockable. This card also came up against Doflamingo. It's also great for law and just pushing for game. 
uh, against most leaders when they have the blockers and you're just like, okay, like, can I deal with these? So he was amazing. Um, I do wish I had a way to search them. It is unfortunate that I do have to just hope to see them. Um, but he, both of those were super relevant. And then, of course, the other brother, we're still playing three ace. I've seen people play him at four. He, of course, great for clearing up boards, uh, great for combining with Sea Quake, uh, which gives you a ton of value, especially against Whitebeard. I've also, like, on the 10 curve in one of my games against Whitebeard, I played ace. I held the ace for a turn. I played him. So I would be on my 10 Dawn turn. And then I minused a Thatch and a Speed Jill. They swung with the Thatch and they just played the Speed Jill. And so I made it perfect for a Fire Fist. So they pair well together, obviously, but um, really helped me come out ahead on that game. So I could see playing four, especially because I played one New Gate, did not see him, slash, did not play him in any of the games. He's obviously still a great card, amazing against Law. Um, and then he's also great to combo with if you play him and then the next turn, like if you're going first, you play him on your nine turn and then you go your next turn, your opponent's at two life and then you flame emperor and then follow up with a 12 slash 13 swing with him. Very powerful. Uh, if the first one connects now we're on to the events for the events. I played four fire fist. I feel like this is a must at this point. It blows out law. Um, helped me in my game against Zoro, my round nine too. Um, they bricked, uh, they played a Jozu. They had Jozu and Izo on field. I cleaned that up, just applying a little bit more pressure onto them. Um, and then, yeah, just blows out law. Very strong card. Everybody, if you play red, you should play this at four. Um, I did, there were like against Dofi, I was really wishing I had jet pistols. I did not play jet pistol just because we play three flame emperor flame emperor is a jet pistol out of life. Magellan hit me with a banish, uh, on one of these, which was unfortunate, but hitting that six is great. Also jet pistol does nothing against Zoro because most of theirs are going to be seven, um, but this card MVP, I could see like there was a time like I've resolved two in games and I could see a reason why you would want three or four. Um, I played three just because we need the space. I also played three sea quake. I feel like this could be four, but it's also has very little value against certain matchups. It's very favorite in law, very favorite against Zoro. Uh, it does help against... Uh, yellow because you can hit Sanji you can hit uh, Brule obviously I've hit Brule for game uh, outside of this event um, this was also really great uh, against Zoro like I'll take if I'm going second I will hit this and hopefully just search with Izo um, help them just lose their board uh, I also played three white beard pirates I opted for not four just because the Izo should hopefully get me there um, and I just want a little bit more room for just all of the cards we're playing. I did also, so I'm only playing two Crossfire. Uh, I could see the argument for three. It's great against yellow because then you can Crossfire and Flame Emperor, the big mom. So we, like, yeah, they're up a life. You might be down, but then, like, you don't have to worry about it. And you can also, like, knock them down by two. Um, but that was, it's very solid. It's also a counter. So, like, I'm not playing Guard Point. There were instances where I wanted guard point, but I'm playing something else over it. But this is also, it's a counter. Uh, the unfortunate part of this card is it doesn't work for their leader. So it has to be a character, um, which does come up sometimes, especially because a lot of people swing with their characters first. And then I played two Red Hawk. Uh, Red Hawk was very good. At some points, I was like, I could probably cut this, but worst case, it's a 1K in your hand. Um, and one game, actually in two games, so I was playing against Whitebeard, they played a chopper, I did not have the Sea Quake, and then so I got this, and I just dedicated my turn to attacks to clean out their hand, and then I left two Dawn up, I had this, uh, I played the Red Hawk, popped the chopper, they didn't have another blocker, and then I was able to go all in for a swing, uh, and pull that out. Also, in my matchup, uh, my finals round, I kind of fumbled. 
I could have Flame Emperor and put them at zero if I just fully committed to the Flame Emperor, but I didn't, and I realized that after the fact. And so I was just really hoping to be able to uh, salvage the game, which I did, uh, which was amazing. And so this, I played Buggy because I really was wanting a rusher. And so I played Buggy, hoping to see Whitebeard Pirates, to play Whitebeard Pirates to get a rusher because I knew if I did like 6-7 that I could pull it out. And I was like, okay. And so very, very good because I got this. They had Otama and Vista on board. I added this from the Buggy. I had Marco, so I played Marco, popped their Vista. All they had was an Otama to potentially swing with, and I was hoping they'd swing with Leader and I'd just pop it, but they also knew I had this, so they swung with the Otama first. Uh, I countered. Um, they took my last life, and they didn't have any rushers, so I was able to pull that, um, pull that game back. But yeah, uh, very good. It's also great against Law. Um, you can disrupt their flow. And that can be very powerful too. Overall, I absolutely loved the deck, loved how it performed. I am truly grateful to be able to bring you all this deck list and these results as well. Uh, Rush Zoro was huge. Um, I did dislike the amount of counter that I have, um, but in the end, it worked out. Uh, if you guys found this content of value, and if you enjoy Ace and look forward to playing him into this OP 3.5 slash possibly into OP 4 please do consider subscribing to my channel. Over 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. It would mean the world to me. And I will be uploading all of my matches from the event to my channel. So do subscribe for that. And thank you all so much for watching.